Globally, biomass energy remains an important renewable energy component. The challenge with biomass, however, is that it is usually found in a loose state characterized by low energy density. The process of biobriketing converts low bulk density biomass material into high density fuel briquettes. Biobriquettes have various benefits. Here, we briefly discuss four main ones. Firstly, certain briquette shapes such as the beehive briquette burn efficiently and are relatively smoke free, reducing health impacts commonly associated with traditional wood soaps. Secondly, since biobriquettes are made from biochar, they are also a renewable energy source and are CO2 neutral. Thirdly, biobriquettes have income generation potential. Biobriquettes can be produced during off season providing employment opportunities in rural areas. Finally, by providing an alternative to fuel wood, biobriquettes can reduce extraction pressures on forests. In this video, we will show you how you can make your own biobriquettes. You will need the following materials. Firstly, biochar. To make four briquettes, you need one kg of biochar. Secondly, a binding agent. In this case, red mud you need 1 kg of red mud per 3 kg of biochar, water. Finally, you will need a grinding tool, a hammer, some fine wire mesh and a briquette press. The first step in making biobriquettes is to prepare the biochar. Biochar can be made from a variety of biomass including weeds, twigs or rice husk. To learn how to prepare it, refer to the video linked below. Once your biochar is ready, we need to grind it into small granules roughly the size of coarse sand. You can use any grinding tool of your choice. We are using an iron masher tool. Motion your charcoal with a small amount of water to prevent excessive dust buildup during the grinding process. After having ground the charcoal for a while, filter it through the fine wire mesh. Set aside the smaller filter materials and continue to grind the larger pieces until all of the charcoal is of desired granule size. Biochar lacks plasticity, thus requiring a binding material to hold the briquette together. The choice of binder can determine the quality and cost of briquettes. Starch, bentonite clay, molasses, and cow dung can be used as binders. For this video, we are using red clay soil, which is widely available throughout the HKS region, is low cost and lends the briquette mechanical strength. Obtain red clay soil from local collection sites and filter is using the small mesh wire to remove any stone chips and large clods. Next, thoroughly mix the bentonite clay with the ground charcoal in a 3 is to 1 ratio by weight. If you do not have access to scales, you can alternatively measure out the charcoal clay mixer by volume using a bucket or any other appropriate container. In the next step, mix in water until a slightly sticky consistency is reached. When compressed in a fist, the mixer should loosely stick together. For the next step, you will need a briquetting press. Here, we are using a commonly available honeycomb hand press. It punches several holes into the briquette, resulting in a honeycomb shape which burns efficiently with a relatively smokeless hot blue flame. Different presses may work differently, but the general working mechanism follows the same process. The press consists of four components, a base and top mold, a base plate and a pressing plate. First, place the top mold into the bottom mold. The handles of the top mold should be perpendicularly aligned to the bottom mold. Then insert the base plate, aligning it with the honeycomb pattern rods. Fill the mold up to the rim with briquette mixer, then place the pressing plate on top and hammer down on it. The goal is to obtain a compact and even consistency throughout the mold. Keep adding and compressing the mixer until the mold is filled up and the briquette does not compact any further. 
Next, release the top mold by rotating it to the left and right and then step on the bottom handle and pull the top mold towards you. Finally, place the top mold on the ground with the base plate facing upwards. Gently release the briquette out of the mold by pressing down on the base plate with your two thumbs. Then gently remove the base plate. The last step is to dry the briquette. Sun drying is a cheap and effective option. Leave the wet briquette in a dry, sunny spot. In bright sunshine, the briquette will dry within one week. If the sunshine is irregular, it may take roughly two weeks. The drying process is complete when the briquette changes in color from black to dark gray.